Brianna is now eight months old. This beautiful girl has grown so much this past month. Physically and mentally, Ayana has started to crawl properly. She is like a little big girl now. <laughs> But of course, when filming this video, she was not going to do it. So maybe I'll get her doing it next month because she gets better at it every day. She still prefers to inchworm across the room because she moves faster that way. But since she can crawl properly now, she will follow me around into different rooms and she gets into everything. We definitely have to keep a close eye on her nowadays. She has had so much fun the past month just exploring her surroundings. We let her just roll around and crawl around the living room, the kitchen. We of course make sure she doesn't get into anything she's not supposed to. But she has had so much fun playing with her toys now that she can just pick them up and move them around and sit up with them. It has just been so fun watching her explore her surroundings. Along with learning how to crawl, Ayana has now learned to clap. She blows raspberries, she babbles a lot more, she has been saying bye bye constantly. And our baby girl has started to pull up on furniture and toys, which is just crazy. She has also been babbling and baby talking and saying bye bye so much more. It's just so cute to watch her try to have a little conversation with you. I love just our little mini conversations between each other, it's so cute. Because Ayana's brain has been so stimulated, she has been learning how to crawl and babbling more and all of that stuff, I believe she has gone through a sleep regression. My app that I have, which I use the Bump app, she it said that she could go through a sleep regression between 8 and 10 months and there's different reasons. She still doesn't have any teeth, so maybe she's just teething, maybe she's growing. I do feel like she has grown a bit in size. Or maybe it is because she just accomplished a milestone. So I don't know what it is, but her sleep has been changing and it's just unpredictable every night. Some nights she sleeps in, next night she's waking up five times. When she does wake up during the night, she does nurse. So maybe she's doing it for comfort because she doesn't feel well. Or maybe she's just, like I said, she accomplished a milestone so her brain stimulated. I don't know what it is, but hopefully we are coming to the end of it. Like I said, we are still nursing, so breastfeeding exclusively is still going strong. She still eats really well with solids, and we have given her eggs recently, which she really liked. She still likes yogurt, oatmeal, vegetables, whatever we give her, she really loves it. She has also tried a little bit of pasta, which it was like a mac and cheese thing, so she really just liked licking the cheese off of it. But nonetheless, she's still a really good eater, and I hope that continues. baby. Ayana is now a big cousin and my niece Georgia was born on July 31st and she does live with us and Ayana has done so well with her. She kisses her, she talks to her, she touches her and we've been teaching her to touch gently but she really has been so good with her and that has made me feel so good because we knew she of course was going to live with us and we just were not sure how she would handle it, but she loves her Auntie Toria, so of course she loves her baby Georgia. We are still reading to Ayana every night and sometimes during the day. We've been really practicing with the first words books and the first shapes, and she has just enjoyed playing with them, rolling around with books, and just listening to us read to her. She is just on the move and exploring everything and just soaking it all in. It has been really fun. The thing that I have learned this past month about being a mama is to enjoy every day for the age that she is and not focus on what she used to be. I focused so hard this past month since my niece was born 
On the fact that Ayana's growing up, I kept saying, oh, I missed her being a newborn. Oh, I just don't remember her being a newborn. She was so little. But I love where she is right now. I love that she is starting to talk with me and she's crawling around by my feet and just getting into things. I enjoy this age too. And so I just need to take it one day at a time and really enjoy every moment with her. No matter how big she gets, of course she'll always be my baby and I'll always love her. So that is what I have learned this past month of being a mama. With that being said, Ayana, I love you each and every single day, and I am so thankful that God blessed me to be your mama, that he trusted me with such a big job, and all I pray is that I am doing you proud and that I am giving you everything that you need mentally, physically. I just pray that you can always count on me. I love you, baby girl. Good girl, can you say bye-bye again? Say bye-bye. Um, 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 um. Good girl, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good girl.